And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube and Puppy. Welcome everybody for some Snapvine Plaza. We're going to be playing another spooky Plaza variant with Lucian. But this time we're going to be playing some Overgrown Snapvine and uh, some Maokai as our other champion. We should be able to have plenty of things die with the help of uh, Maokai and just all, some other ephemeral units that we have. Uh, you know, a bunch of like saplings dying and, and everything like that. So we, we uh, maybe can have Maokai level up. Plus, over, if we get an Overgrown Snapvine in play, whenever we summon a follower, of course, you kill it and you summon another Overgrown Snapvine. So each one of those die immediately. So that does count towards your uh, death total with leveling up Maokai. Um, we're we're going to play a couple of Senna's to pair with the Lucians. If we have Overgrown Snapvine in play and then we play a Senna, it will kill Senna immediately and make Senna an Overgrown Snapvine. And of course, whenever Senna dies, that levels up Lucian. So that could be something that, that could come up. The saplings already have challengers and they're two ones. When we have Grand Plaza in play, they'll become three ones or three twos with challengers. So they'll be able to trade up even a little bit better. Um, we have the Evershade Stalker in here, which is awesome with Overgrown Snapvine because you, you know, for two mana, you play an Evershade Stalker, but it just kills it and makes it an Overgrown Snapvine. But you still get the copy of the Evershade Stalker in your hand. So you can keep on playing more Overgrown Snapvine. So that's a really cool little combo. Um, but then everything else is, you know, just kind of about the, like the same, you know, uh, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, that stuff's awesome. Some Ravis Butchers in here to do some extra killing to help out Lucian. We may like sacrifice Senna to a Ravenous Butcher, uh, to be able to level up Lucian sometimes too. All right, let's, let's get to it. All right, go hard. Go hard. Alright, I'm gonna just keep this hand. This hand looks really good, honestly. So I'm just gonna keep it. Let's just keep it. Okay, I can save the spell mana and just save it for Stalking Shadows. and Or, you know, play Curse Keeper. But it may be better just to save the spell mana for Stalking Shadows. If I play Curse Keeper on turn 2... Next turn, I can play Grand Plaza and then play Butcher and sacrifice the Curse Keeper. And then I have a 4-3 and a 5-4, both challengers attacking. And I guess since, since I have the attack token, I guess we'll just do that. Okay. Fair enough. I'll just attack with the 4-3 right away. Where do you stand on cold shots? Cold shots. Triple Grand Plaza. I'll just attack immediately. We'll play the Grand Plaza after attacking. Don't really need to play it before attacking. No surprise on the block. Evershade Stalker, Evershade Stalker cannot block. To get rich. But I can use the Stalker to get a Butcher in play. I know what lurks in the shadow. Now a lot of people play Ledros, like even in like this deck, a lot of people play Ledros in this go hard deck. I don't really have room for Blighted Caretaker, do I? Do I just do Hapless Aristocrat? Or Senna? Wait, if I go this, then Caretaker. I guess I'd have room for Caretaker. I think Hapless Aristocrat may be my best card out of those. Mm. 
Hey, Maximus. Because I'm not sure if we really need Blighted Caretaker with having Evershade Stalker, right? Like, this is basically build your own Blighted Caretaker. Already. <laughs> Lego style caretaker. Yeah. The aristocrat will give me some blockers on their turn. I can, I can pull, I have a free play on the butcher right now. Deal me in. Blue as the serpentine. I don't need to play it though. <laughs> Hope he's just sitting in the seat also. <laughs> oh, my arm's in the way, but. He's also just just sitting here. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you think you're people. All or nothing. That sharp sight's a good draw. So twist of fate's at five. I don't want to level up. If they spend mana and spells to, to kill this thing anyway, maybe they can't draw enough cards to level up their Twisted Fate. Okay. Yep, that was a, a good Sharp Sight draw. Overgrown snap vine. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. You pay, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Alright, well, we can start getting overgrown snap vines this next turn. As long as they don't use vengeance on it. Let's see, so if I go Snapvine, that'll be all seven of my mana. So I go Snapvine and then Butcher the Aristocrat, then I get two more Snapvines. And there'll be seven fives. Or I wait a turn, or I just play play Butcher right now, and then just go Stalker, Stalker. Maybe even Grizzled, actually probably Grizzled Ranger. And wait a turn until their turn for these Snap Vines. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, because like, a Vengeance kind of messes me up a little bit. Or even just Twisted Fate Gold Card. Kind of messes me up a little bit. Not too much, though. I mean, I'll be able to make two more snap vines. We play in bilge rules, son. Nice They're looking at their Twisted Fate red card and thinking, well, maybe not. Got another raid from Tippy Tips. Welcome everybody from Tippy Tips stream. If y'all are not following Tippy Tips, I highly recommend it. Uh, very good quality streamer. Plays competitively. What's up everybody? We're on our, our third of three decks of the day. We're playing some Snap Find Plaza. Playing some Overgrown Snap Find with a uh, Spooky Grand Plaza deck. Wishing that we had more space. It's 
to operate with, but this is what we got. Come closer. I don't bite. Yeah, that's right. Overgrown Snapvine. Curse Keeper. Be nothing left when I'm done. All right, so they still have the mana for an Overgrown or for a, a Vengeance right now on the Snapvine. But I think it's worth a try. All right, yeah, we're gonna try. Yeah, go hard, go hard. Twisted Fate's really difficult to beat. So yeah, we're. I'm trying here. Yeah, because yeah, this is a difficult one to beat, so. Which I'll make you happy if we do. Oh, double packer bags gone. I didn't realize they cast three of those things already. I thought they'd only cast two. I don't change fate. I That's two packer bags gone. Oh, I did not realize they're about to just do go all packer bags on me. This could be bad. I forgot about a go hard that they played. Don't have it. Well, I mean, they have to have it if they're, they're spending a one mana card, so they have it. Okay, so we take six, puts us down to 12, and then two, four, six, seven, so we'll go down to five. Sad face. Yeah, so this overgrown snap fine thing didn't really work. Man, must be nice. Yeah, I thought it was only two, but I guess it was three. We can't spend seven mana. Alright, so that's one thing dying for Lucian. Looks like Ruination, but I can't really stop Ruination. And obviously we're at four and they have a bunch of stuff out. It's not like I, I can't play around Ruination right now, like we're behind. Maokai's at 20 out of 25. Maokai would be pretty sweet. That was perfect. The one, you know, one mana packer bags. It's pretty ridiculous, but you know that into ruination into Ledros. That's the dream. And no, I could, I couldn't have any fear of ruination. Why would they? I'm, I don't, I'm a little surprised. No attack. Mm. No, I guess I just let it happen. Because if I if I go glimpse beyond on this overgrown snap vine, then they then they attack and trade with my snap vine, but then we draw two cards. That's actually fine. Yeah, that's that's actually good for me. That's okay. I'm gonna keep the hapless aristocrat to be Ooh, there's Maokai, we're at twenty-two. So that's 24. I've whipped up something special. They're going to need direct damage. We go, we go, we go. I am the forest. Alright, 
Get rid of all those cards. I mean, they already played Pack Your Bag, so it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't work now, but... If you can get, you know, if you can get Maokai level up earlier before Pack Your Bags, if you can obliterate all of them... Obviously, yeah, if they if they still have a Go Hard in hand or anything, then yeah, they just keep putting the Go Hards back and... That kind of stuff, but you do at least... Uh, I don't know. You can, you can do some stuff. Uh, so now, I kind of want to play the other Evershade Stalker... Where do I play it is the question. So I play it over the Grand Plaza is the answer. That's their plan. Drain four. That plan's not good enough. All right, good job, Snap Finds. GG's, got the win, we're one and oh. Awesome, that was a good win. Zoe Leeson. Okay, that's the deck we just got done playing. I feel pretty good about us winning this one. But I can't stop Lee Sin, right? It's kind of all about, like, do they have a real quick, like, super powerful Lee Sin? Because I can't stop that. Sharp Sight can block the elusive lifesteal thingy. Let's just keep Stalking Shadows and Maokai. No attack token on a turn three. For Blighty Caretaker. This is kind of an awkward Caretaker Maokai hand. Honestly, maybe I should be going Stalking Shadows and looking for. Uh, I, I don't know. I could attack. Looking for like a, a 1 1, a 1 mana 1 1 to be able to play in Sharp Sight block. Yeah, like that hapless aristocrat. I'll take the snap line. Play Maokai on their attack t turn. One out of 25. We're almost there. Stun two enemies. They grow up so fast. You spurn my gift. Gives to those who listen. I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to play Glimpse Beyond right now. Because if I play Glimpse Beyond, then I don't have mana for Sharp Sight next turn. Because next turn I want to play Maokai plus Hapless Aristocrat. That's 5 mana. And so then I want, I want additional mana to also Sharp Sight block Zoe. What is gained when we return Malevolence? So we can start getting the toss going as far as obliterating their deck. So they're just making sure they get us a draggling right now. Out. Um, 
push back sorry grizzled ranger i want to start leveling up lucian force is meaningless without skill a pleasure to see you master Three. I must get out of here. Right. It doesn't level up with Hush. I was thinking even even like I was right. I was thinking that we could you know sacrifice this and have the Lucian level up, but it's not gonna level up with Hush. Well, that's all right. Just closer to Maokai level up. We're at 13 right now. Because I need to have Glimpse Beyond for whenever they go Dragon's Rage. Then I Glimpse Beyond, then... What is but of course they're going to Dragon's Rage and kill my Maokai now. Okay, interesting. Uh, Zenith Blade, that was the one card I didn't want them to have. That was definitely the cool. Alright, so like I said, I, I felt good about this one, but, you know, Lee Sin is really powerful, and Lee Sin can just win games still. And that's what they had. They had Lee Sin on turn 5. I guess maybe they played on turn 6, but whatever. They, you know, like they had Lee Sin with leveled it up pretty fast, and... You know, and then they also had the the thing to give it overwhelm. Push back to darkness. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Them die. So this is two is deaths for mind. Lucian. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I think my my plan is one Grizzled Ranger, two Ever Evershade Stalkers. That's that's my best play right now. Obviously, I can't handle more hushes, obviously. Yeah, they just have another hush also. They had it all. It wasn't enough. Okay. Uh, prediction should be starting again here now. Yep, there it is. This is going to be a lot tougher matchup. You know, like, I... I think the Lee Sin matchup's good for us, but they did, you know, they just had Lee Sin, Double Hush, and Overwhelm, you know, GG's, but I think overall that's a matchup that we'll be doing very well against. This one, though, this one just plays a bunch of units that are awesome on defense, and so I think that's going to be more of a, a challenge for us. So I think this one's going to be a more challenging matchup. Um, as far as our hand goes, it's, I mean, it's not bad, right? Like, just, just because it has Grand Plaza... Grand Plaza makes both of these cards pretty awesome. Let's replace the Aristocrat. We Aristocrat's, you know, just probably just an average card. We can replace that. But Grizzled Ranger with Grand Plaza is pretty awesome. The one problem is we have the attack token on turn three. Not 
on turn four when we really want it. But I also really want to keep uh, three mana banked. Keep mana banked for this glimpse beyond. No, without Hush, I don't think they were. I don't know. I think we could have maybe got that with the. Uh, they would have had to basically use both of their thing, both of their other units to like block Lucian each. You know, like block Lucian for the first attack and then block Lucian again for the second attack. So I was going to be able to make another challenger that was going to get Lee Sin out of the picture again. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember if if like the other things would have killed them or not. I, but I, I don't know. Devotion to battle. No surprise there. They're worried about me killing my Curse Keeper on my turn and then getting that larger thing as a challenger on my turn. Obliterated Grizzled Ranger, not even the Grand Plaza. Not even the Grand Plaza. Which all I'm doing is drawing more Grand Plaza, so I would have would not have mind them taking it down. are just bigger. This is why I was saying this is not a good matchup for us. Alright, let's mess some folks up. I prefer to have Maokai leveled up before I play it, but that's not easy to level up Maokai. Time to get rowdy. Back heretic. I'm at challenge. Whoops. All right, it's blocked anyway. These things are just so big. What is what is this deck bad against? This Le Leona really in soul deck. I have a horrible win rate against Leona Aurelian Soul over the last couple of weeks, like with this Grand Plaza. I don't really beat it with anything that I play. Because they keep on doing this. Just. <laughs> like, who, who beats this? You know, like those two great challengers on turn six. And, you know, turn seven, Eclipse Dragon, turn eight, Aurelian Soul. Like, who. How do you. How does anybody ever beat this deck? Nexus damage decks. I mean, they have they have that four mana huge life steal thing though, also, and they also just play they play sharp sight to block elusives. They have hush. They have everything. I wonder if this is secretly the best deck in in the game, because like how do how do aggro, like they have all those daybreak cards? That's so hard for like aggro decks to be. Yeah, they, they also have star shaping. Yeah, I don't I don't know how they lose. Oh, that was probably better. Overgrown plus Curse Keeper. I was kind of focused on Overgrown plus Evershade Stalker and didn't really love that. But yeah, that, that probably would have been better just going Overgrown Curse Keeper.
the either the meta tier list or the or the stats regions on mobilitics both those are really good tools those would have a good leona aurelian soul deck list kind of a weird turn for them just playing eclipse dragon and nothing else this was out of all those cards like eclipse dragon I, i'll be su surprised if that was like their best plan of like trying to stay alive and all that kind of stuff like that was kind of a weird turn for them but um you know i couldn't quite punish them maybe if i would have gone with this the snap mine around i do love an audience Alright, those having overwhelm kills me. I don't have anything to stop that. Not again. Okay, back to another Zoe deck. Fiora Zoe this time, not Lee Sin Zoe. Fiora kills us a lot slower, but we also give Fiora some good targets to kill. Let's get rid of the Evershade Stalker. Um, I really like having the attack token on turn 3 with Blighted Caretaker now, so we'll keep that. Ugh. I don't really want to Caretaker away Lucian. Hmm. I guess we don't really have to Caretaker next turn. Don't get in my way. Considering they haven't played a single unit for us to kill. We just go Lucian, attack, Grand Plaza. Is mercy. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Sharp Sight's a great draw. That can help out. As we struggle to kill the, the Fiora. For my I need only one to win. I will put you down. Oh God. Hmm. Now we're just getting cheesed. Gohard was the most fair deck we've played against. But, you know, just like all in Lee Sin, all in Fiora, and then Aurelian Soul. Like, <laughs> these champions are, are ridiculous. Like, you can't deal with these champions by just playing two ones and three ones and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what Maokai does for me besides give Fiora a really good target. That's what I'm kind of deciding is like, what do we. Because next turn, next turn I'm going to want a Grizzled Ranger and Sharp Sight. Probably not enough. Making the dead, dead. Oh no, now I don't have mana for Sharp Sight. I messed up. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're by my side. Lucian save. Hello, love. In the field, you call me commander. Mr. Chance to run. Alright, so this Santa should die. It's ephemeral. She'll level up Lucian. So yeah, Fiora doesn't get the kill, right? Because the 
Um, quick attack, and then the ephemeral. The ephemeral uh, just kills it, so Fiora doesn't get the kill. So Fiora's still at one. Uh, so now I can I can lead my next turn with like Blighted Caretaker and kill Senna. And if I do that, then we will rally. Okay, or I could go Celestial Aristocrat Aura. into Caretaker. Try me. Oh God. I honestly don't really know why they are uh, doing that. I don't really know why they're challenging Senna over challenging Lucian. They're just giving me the attack token. No I'm not exactly sure why. Slow down, will you? Nice really don't know why they didn't kill Lucian and they killed Sen instead. So of course we'll have an additional attack, with this being the scout, and we'll have the four or five Grizzled Ranger. I mean both Senna and Lucian are four damage, because I'm not attacking, so like the Lucian, the double attack isn't a thing. Maybe they thought that the double attack happened in blocks, maybe? Um, there we go. Well, that's good. Yeah, it looks like they rage quit. And there we go. Alright, so we're two and two. So we can simply just open attack. They'd have like a, I don't know, uh, harsh winds. This is mercy. Yeah, it looks like that was maybe a misplay tilt. And stay dead. All they had to do was just challenge the Lucian. All right, back to Zoe, Zoe, and Karma. You want to get your prediction in, get it in now, win or loss. You can put some channel points on it. We're going to mulligan our 7 mana card, and honestly, probably just the 4 mana card with the Grizzled Ranger. I'm going to keep the Sharp Sight, block and Zoe, keep the Lucian, and we'll just kind of get some other cards. So this is somebody who's thousands of years old. I just like this z -bull that's being all sneaky over here in the corner. This sneaky z -bull. Push back the darkness. So I can sacrifice my Lucian to turn on Black Spear. That's a good play, right? I fight with my spirit, not my fist. This just looks like the least in deck. <laughs> I'm cast this. Don't duck on my account. All right, going for blocking Zoe. And now next turn with the four mana, I'm going to play like a Plaza and like the Ephemeral Aristocrat. And I can challenge their goat. Get in the portal! Get in my belly. I guess it makes sense to play the Hapless Aristocrat and then butcher it. Is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Bam, 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 bam. Um, do I do the ephemeral or nah? Really? Oh, nah, I'm gonna just play the regular one. Can't save them all. Cause I want, you know, I want all these things to die for Lucian. Maybe next turn I play the, you know, Maokai and the ephemeral, and then that's two other things dying, so that'll level up my Lucian and give me an attack.
So I know I could have killed the Eye of the Dragon and kept my thing alive, but again... Oh, I don't, I don't know why I didn't attack with Lucian, by the way. Sure, I could have dealt three damage to them. Oh, well. Um, but again, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, they should be at 17. Those wells. Oh, I guess we won't gain an attack. Right, because they're not just because we gain the attack at the end of turn. We're gonna need more coffins. But end of turn by definition means the turn's over. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little ones. Well, it ruined my additional attack. Sunlight guided my brethren. Come, come this way. Back, heretic. We need to just keep on drawing units. Stalking Shadows is our best draw on our deck. I was going to say that. Like, this is just the absolute best draw on our deck because this is two units. As long as it doesn't whiff. If it whiffs, it won't be so great. So Snapvine means that we kill the Sapling and turn it into a Snapvine. Which we kill the unit, which means we rally with Lucian. This is just good deck building. And now we get to attack with all these. <laughs> That's just good deck building. Right there. Overgrown Snapvine. Life triumphs for once. Okay, three and two. So Snapvine Plaza was pretty sweet. The Grand Plaza is just, of course, really strong. But Overgrown Snapvine, it's fun finding ways to play this card. Because it's a really unique card and really fun to play. We saw that very end of that last game where Overgrown Snapvine can just be awesome. Right, we have our two champions in play, a leveled up Lucian and just a regular Maokai. We play the Snapvine, so we get the Sapling. The Sapling immediately dies and gets turned into another Overgrown Snapvine. Right, you kill it to summon over, an Overgrown Snapvine. And that triggers our Lucian to, um, to rally whenever it sees the ally die. So then we get to attack again. And now because we have the Grand Plaza in play also, because we're living the dream, like we did that last game, we have 6-4 challengers. So we have the two 6-4 challengers. We have our Maokai. We have our leveled up Lucian. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome there. And then we just gain the attack token. So that went pretty well. You know, like it, it, uh, we won that first one. That first game was awesome against Gohard. Winning that one also on the back of Overgrown Snapvine. Then it looked a little looked a little rough there against a couple of um, really powerful champions. You know, Lee Sin, Aurelian Soul looked a little rough there. But um, we got past the Fiora deck with a timely sharp sight and, um, and a bad challenge by them. And then that last game, that was pretty sweet with the Overgrown Snapvines taking over. So, pretty good deck here. You know, it's just ni a nice little deck to play. You know, if you want something uh, with Overgrown Snapvine that's a nice, respectable deck, give this one a try. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, also leave those comments. Let me know if you have a better Overgrown Snapvine deck or just like if you've been playing this deck yourself and trying it out, let me know how it goes. Also, what kind of decks do you want to see on stream? Let me know. I'll get to them. We had some people on YouTube ask for the Zoe Lee Sin deck, and uh, so we played that today. All right, but that's it here for Snapvine Plaza. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.